We already talked about finding the speed when it comes to one moving vehicle, but what if it's time that's missing? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, today we're going to look for time. It's part of our comprehensive series on motion problems. And this is the basic run, basically one vehicle moving. All of the questions, pero may mga challenge questions then, are, are going to be included in the quiz that we have at the end of this video. So if you want to uh, get a hold of that, uh, don't forget to watch until the end. Now, just a quick little segue, I just want to promote yung ating Facebook page. If you're not yet part of Team Like on Facebook, you can visit our page for more information on the reviewers that I made, the online or live review events, and yung ating pang mga maraming free resources that I put up every week. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlike for more information, alright? And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to jump into yung aking PC na for uh, yung discussion ng lesson na ito, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung ating uh, lecture on motion problems, specifically when it comes to one moving person, tapos missing yung time. And um, i discuss ko muna yung concept and yung formula, and then after that, uh, we're going to have yung quick quiz natin. The quick quiz will have extra challenging questions, so even if you know the concept na, please stay tuned until the end para matry nyo yung hand nyo in solving those problems, okay? So let's start with yung ating formula. So we already talked about this dun sa first parts ng series na ito. So again, if you haven't seen those, catch up muna. Click on the i button sa if you're watching this on YouTube. Pero we already talked about speed and distance. Now if you want to use yung formula and it derive na lang yung formula for time, what you will do will be to write down first yung S is equal to D over T. And then following rules natin, pagdating sa equalities, ang goal natin is to leave yung time sa isang side. So, ang mangyayari dyan would be you will multiply both sides by the time. Tapos, ito magiging time times the speed is equal to at makakancel ito, distance, which is yung pinanggagalingan natin before. Pero ngayon, dahil time ang inahanap, ang goal natin, makancel yung S dito. So, i-over S natin both sides. Now we have time na lang is equal to distance over speed. Again, if you're using the formula, ganun mo siyang makukuha. Pero if you're using the SDT triangle, which is yung preferred method natin para mas mabilis din, what you could do na lang would be to cover yung time, and you would see that the formula is D over S, which is actually the same as this. So pareho lang naman sila. So ang formula ng time is distance over speed. So when you have a problem like this, Sabi, Jasmine can ride her bike at a speed of 24 kilometers per hour. If she needs to cover 72 kilometers, how long would it take her to complete the journey? So again, salamat sa lahat na nagpadala ng mga pangalan nila at pangalan ng mga friends nila and their kids uh, dun sa video before. If you want me to use your name or to use someone na uh, mahal ninyo sa buhay as an example dun sa mga future problems natin, isulat nyo lang yung pangalan nila sa ilalim. So, ang gagawin natin, time daw is equal to D over S. So, yung distance natin, which is this, 72 kilometers, ilalagay natin siya sa taas, 72 kilometers, tapos over siya doon sa speed. Ang speed naman niya is 24 kilometers per hour. So, 24 kph. So, i-divide lang natin yung 72 sa 24. 72 divided by 24 is going to give you 3. So, 3 hours. Okay, 3 hours ang sagot. Now, sa nanggaling yung hours na ito? Again, the idea here is even yung units, nag apply din yung rules sa kanila. So, if we have kilometers over kilometers per hour, ang mangyayari dyan would be yung kilometer and kilometer will cancel themselves. Tapos, yung hour, which is nasa ilalim, dahil ang division ay mumultiply mo siya sa reciprocal, mapupunta yung hour sa taas. So, the answer is 3 hours. Okay? Now, ang mangyayari dito is, itong formula na to will be applicable sa mga future na mga questions, whether ganito yung format exactly or hindi. Now, it's time for you to try it out for yourself, and I'll give you a quick minute. Your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. So, sabi si Olive Dow drives at an average speed of 65 kilometers per hour. If she needs to cover 260 kilometers, how long would it take her to complete the journey? So, again, same thing lang as before. Time is equal to distance over speed. Ang distance natin this time is 260 kilometers. Clue nyo dyan talaga yung unit kasi ang kilometers ay unit ng distance. Tapos, over siya doon sa... 65 kilometers per hour, which is yung kanyang speed. Now, I just need to point out dito, it may not be applicable in this particular problem, pero in some problems, merong discrepancy sa unit. So, for example, yung distance is in kilometers, tapos naka miles per hour yung 65 kilometers per hour na speed. So, hindi siya kph, ano siya, mph siya. In those cases, you will have to convert pa yung 260 kilometers into miles para maging accurate yung yung measure. Kasi hindi mo pwedeng i-gamitin na ruler, kumbaga, yung kilometer kung miles naman yung speed. So, pagbabanggain mo pa siya. Kaya very important ang converting ng units. So, if you haven't seen yung ating video on converting units, especially converting units of distance, i-click nyo na lang dito sa i button if you're watching this on YouTube so you can catch up. We discussed that before na. Okay? Pero ngayon, medyo fairly simple yung mga tanong natin. We have time is equal to and 260 divided by 65 is just 4. So, the answer is 4 hours. Okay? So, again, fairly simple. Pero when we come to yung hour quiz later, medyo mas tricky na siya. So, ihanda nyo na yung pen and paper ninyo because the best way for you to see if you're actually learning is to take this free quick quiz. And if you're ready... Your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. 
So, yung first question natin is a little easier than the other. So, we'll start with that. Sabi ito, Kristen usually drives at an average speed of 64 kilometers per hour. She drives 25% faster when she's happy like she is right now. So, quick little shout out, Kristen, happy birthday. Uh, May 8th daw yung kanyang birthday. May as late na ito, pero sana nakahabol pa rin. And, uh... How long would it take her to get home if she needs if the distance she needs to cover is 192 kilometers? So again, happy birthday, Kristen. Tingnan natin yung time na kailangan niyang uh, spend. So ang sabi dito, ang usual na speed niya daw is 64 kilometers per hour. But we have a catch right here. And if you're taking the OPCAT or any college entrance test, it would pay for you to know na nagko-combine din ng mga concepts sa mga word problem. So, for example, hindi lang ito basta speed and distance and time problem dahil meron ka ng 25% faster. So, may dagdag na component yon. So, if you just used 192 kilometers tapos dinivide mo lang siya direct sa 64, may mali. Bakit? Kasi ngayon, ay siya ay happy. Sabi, like she is right now. So, masaya siya ngayon eh. So, ibig sabihin, hindi 64 ang gagamitin mo. Gagamitin mo yung 64 plus another 25%. So, in order for us to get the actual number that we have to use, sisimulan natin siya dun sa 64 tapos plus 25% ng 64. So, plus 25% of 64. Now, you can go about this in multiple ways. Pwede mong isolve it like that. So, basically, gagawin mo lang 64 times 25% or 64 times 0.25 and then plus 64. Or, ako, I prefer na mas padaliin, lalo na dahil ang 25% is an easy fraction naman to deal with. One-fourth lang yan. So, what you could do would be, diretsohin mo na na 64 divided by 4, which will give you 16. Tapos yung 16, idadagdag mo sa 64, ang lalabas is 80. Now, you can do this, or actually, pwede mo rin gawin na ang 64, ang original number, so siya ang 100%. And then, ang hinahanap mo is yung 125%. Ito yung X, and then you can also do your ratio rotation like this. Okay? Um, and uh, again, there are a lot of ways that you can do this. Pero let me exemplify that uh, using ratio rotation when it comes to percentage questions. I have a video of that. Ililink ko na lang din sa taas. Pero yung lowest terms mo lang ito, divisible sila pareho sa 4. This will give you 16. This will give you 25. And now you, ha you can rotate this like this. You have 125 divided by 25, is going, which is going to give you 5. Times 16, 80 pa rin naman ang kalalabasan. Again, pareho lang yung magiging sagot. Kung saan ka man dumaan, basta importante, 80 yung kanyang speed. And now that you know that, you can now solve for the actual na sagot. So, time is equal to distance, which is the same. Hindi naman nagbago, 192 kilometers. Again, be very mindful of the unit na ginagamit. Kasi kung hindi yan kilometers, kailangan ko pa mag-convert. So, you have 192 kilometers. Tapos, over siya. sa speed which is now we know 80 kilometers per hour. So, hindi siya basta-basta. You're going to have to divide 192 by 80. Okay? So, ang time na sinuspend niya is 2 tapos meron kang 32 over 80 kph. Okay? Again, if you're taking an aptitude exam, Um, you can go through yung division agad ng decimals or you can do something like this para you can guesstimate, depende sa options na binigay uh, dun sa questionnaire ninyo. Tapos from here, I can just reduce this to lowest terms. Pareho naman siyang divisible sa 4. So I can do 4. So this is 8. Tapos this is 20. This is 4. This is going to give me 10. Or 2 over 5. Ang 2 over 5... In, or 4 over 10 is 40%. So, ibig sabihin, the time would be 2.4 hours. Or kung kailangan ko i-convert ito into actual hours and minutes, kasi minsan ganun sa options, wala ka makikita 2.4 hours, ang kailangan mong gawin is yung 0.4, i-convert mo pa siya into kung ilang minutes yan. Yun yung something na nag-stomp sa ibang tao dun sa ibang parts ng series na ito. I actually discussed that dun sa conversion naman natin ng units of time. Again, ililink ko na lang dun sa taas if hindi nyo pa napapanood. Pero ang gagawin mo lang dun basically is ano ang 0.4 ng 60 minutes. 
Okay? So, ano yung 0.4 ng 60 minutes? Imumultiply mo lang. That is going to give you 6, 12, 18, 24. So, 2 hours. The answer would be 2 hours and 24 minutes. Again, pareho lang naman yan sa 2.4 hours. I hope you got that right. Doon na sa next one. Sabi sa number 2, RV and Panda are leaving for Baguio at 4 a.m. So, hi kay RV at kay Panda, ang kanyang dog. Uh, tama ba ako? And... Ang speed limit daw nila is 75 kilometers per hour. If the distance they need to cover is 250 kilometers, what's the earliest possible time for RV and Panda to get there? Now, dahil ang tinatanong is what is the earliest possible time for RV and Panda to get there, ang inahadap natin is the actual time na darating sila doon. Hindi enough na alam mo lang kung gaano katagal yung biyahe, idadagdag mo pa yan doon sa 4 a.m. So, isosolve na natin ito. Tignan natin yung information that we have. The first thing that we have to look for when you're looking for yung time is yung distance. Now, ang distance here is yung Baguio uh, trip nila. At ang sabi, ang kailangan daw nilang i-cover na distance is 250 kilometers. So, yung number lalagay natin sa taas, 250 kilometers. Tapos, over siya dun sa kanyang speed, which is 75 kilometers per hour. Now, some of you may be a little bit confused kasi hindi naman niya speed yan eh. Yan ay speed limit. Right? Pero I just rephrased this again kasi hindi natin alam kung anong klaseng tanong ibabato sa atin pag tayo yung nag-exam. Ang idea here is kung nagmamadali siya, total ang hinahanap naman ay earliest possible time at ang speed limit, again, in math, sinusunod ang speed limit, although sa, sa Pilipinas, <laughs> kadalasan hindi. Pero dahil uh, math question ito, i-assume natin lagi na sumusunod siya sa speed limit. So, ang earliest possible time would be yung oras na makakarating sila doon sa ganitong distance following yung maximum na speed limit. Okay? Which is, again, also odd if you consider things like bakit pag nagsimula ba siyang bumiyahe, 75 na agad? Of course, hindi. Pero magsistick tayo sa parameters sa binigay ng problema. Okay? So, we have 75 kilometers per hour sa ilalim. Di-divide natin yan ngayon. So, 250 divided by 75. Ang lalabas dyan is we have 3. Diba? Kasi ang, uh, ang 75 times 3, dahil ang 75 ay 150. Ang tatlong 75 ay 150 plus another 75 which is 225. Kasha naman siya sa 250. Kaya lang may remainder ka na 25 over 75 na hour. etong 3 and 25 over 75, of course, masisimplify pa natin yan. Divisible siya pareho sa 25. That can be 1 over 3. So, 3 and 1 third of an hour Kung gusto mong maging decimal yan or dinivide nyo ito ng decimal ang ginamit natin, ang magiging sagot is 3.33 bar. Okay, kasi repeating siya. At kung kailangan mo namang gawing uh, hours and minutes yung, yung unit mo, you have 3 hours and 20 minutes. Now, coachan ko nakuha yung, sa inyo po nakuha yung 20 minutes. Nakuha natin yan dun sa ano ba ang one third ng isang oras. Ang isang oras ay may 60 minutes. So, minultiply ko lang yan. 60 over 3 is 20 minutes. So, ito yung length ng kanilang trip. Pero hindi pa yan ang final answer kasi ang tinatanong nga again is what time. So, kailangan natin tandaan 4 a.m. sila umalis. So, kung 4 a.m. kayo umalis, dadagdagan mo pa siya ng 3 hours and 20 minutes. Anong oras siyang darating? Darating siya ng 7 20 a.m. M. Okay? 7.20 a.m. Kasi 4 a.m., 5, 6, 7 a.m. plus another 20 minutes. So, 7.20 a.m. ang oras. Okay? Na kung nakuha ninyo yung 3 hours and 20 minutes pero nakalimutan gawin ito, again, be very mindful of the question at ano ba talaga ang hinahanap. Ito yung mga common na pitfalls sa word problems. Minsan hindi binabasa ng buo kasi na assume na natin na, ah, oras ang hinahanap. So, oras dapat ang sagot. As in, haba ng oras. Hindi yung actual time. Okay? So, ingat-ingat lang, basa-basa, at intindihin mabuti ang hinahanap ng tanong. Number three. Ito ay uh, magkakaibigan naman. We have Lou, Grace, and Christina. So, Grace and Christina uh, was mentioned last week. Sabi, they are both frontliners. So, one of them is a doctor, the other is a nurse. So, thank you po for your sacrifice just in case you come across this video. And please stay safe. And maraming salamat po. Okay? So, we have Lou, Lou Grace, and Christina on a road trip. They are 
taking turns driving in a 500 kilometer non-stop road trip challenge. So si Luda drives with a speed of 95 kilometers per hour but can only drive for 2 hours. Kailangan niya magpahinga after. Now Grace can drive for 3 hours at 70 kilometers per hour. But then again, of course, dahil 3 hours na siya magdadrive, yun ang kaya niyang gawin, stop din siya. Now, if Christina drives 20 kilometers per hour slower than Grace, how long would their trip take? Okay, so isolve na natin. Now, this time, tatlo yung players, pero isang biyahe lang. So, iisa-isahin lang natin ito. Now, kahit wala kang complicated formula uh, for this, which would look a little bit like yung distance of the whole trip, is equal to yung distance na kinover ni Lou, plus distance covered by Grace, plus distance covered by Christina. Tapos itong distance na to, isosolve mo pa isa-isa. Tapos hahanapin mo yung time. Kahit wala ka na nito, okay, you can still solve this. Okay, ang ibe-breakdown lang natin yung mga tanong. But again, in the later parts of the series, we're going to talk about paano kung iba-ibang mga vehicles na yan, vehicles who are moving in opposite or same directions, all of those will be there. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na lang kayo para hindi nyo yun ma-miss. This time, we're going to take it one step at a time. So, bearing in mind na ang buong biyahe nila, ang total distance dapat is 500 kilometers. Okay? Dulo to dulo. Now, let's start with yung kay Lou first. So, si Lou daw, nag-drive siya, 95 kilometers per hour. Tapos, ang kay, nakakapag-drive siya ng 2 hours. Now, if you remember our discussion last time, ang distance is equal to speed times time. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin, 95 times 2 para makuha yung distance ni Lou. 95 times 2 is 180 plus 10 or 190. Kilometers. So, ibig sabihin si Lou, na-cover niya na yung 190, tumatakbo yung kotse, this time it's Grace's turn. Si Grace naman, ang kanyang uh, speed naman is 70 kilometers per hour, yan ang kanyang speed, tapos magdadrive daw siya for 3 hours. Okay, yan naman ang distance na makakover niya. You have 70 times 3 which is 210 kilometers. Alright, so tapos na tayo kay Lou at saka kay Grace, hinahanap natin yung kay Christina. Now, Sa usapan ng hours kung ilan bumiyahe si Christina, uh, ang kailangan natin munang hanapin is ilang kilometers na lang ba yung kailangan niya i-drive. Now, from our drawing right here, which I hope you pay attention to kasi gagamitin natin to in the future pa sa ibang mga motion problems, uh, you would see na meron ng 190 tapos meron na rin 210. So, ibig sabihin, ang na-cover na ng magkakaibigan ay yung initial na 400 kilometers. Which means, ang natitira na lang dun sa kanilang 500 kilometer na target ay 100 kilometers. Ito na ngayon ang magiging distance na gagamitin natin to know kung ilang oras kailangan mag-drive ni Christina. So, yung time na dira-drive ni Christina, okay, yung time ni Christina will be equal sa... 100 kilometers, yun ang kanyang distance, over yung kanyang speed. Now, how do we get yung speed naman niya? Balikan natin yung tanong. Ang sabi, Christina drives 20 kilometers per hour slower than Grace. Ang trick sa mga gantong classing word problem ay tagalugin siya. Di ba yung remember when we talked about age problems? We already have a complete uh, series tungkol sa age problems mula sa pag ng tanong, paggawa ng tables, at pag-solve ng algebra, or paggamit ng table technique which I taught. All of those, um, ang nakabank siya doon sa pag ng tanong. And a good way for you to do that is to tagalize it or at, or ano, i-translate mo siya sa iyong mother tongue. So kung si Christina ay nagda-drive ng 20 km per hour na mas mabagal kay Grace, ibig sabihin mas mabilis si Grace kay Christina, ibig sabihin para makuha ko yung speed ni Christina, ang babawasan ko ay yung speed ni Grace. At kung si Grace ay kaya mag-drive ng 70 km per hour para makuha ako naman ang speed ni Christina, kailangan kong bawasan ito ng 20 which will give me yung speed niya na 50 km per hour. And now that I have that, malalaman ko na yung time ni Christina kasi 100 divided by 50 is 2 hours. Now yung 2 hours na yon exciting na hanapin sa options agad at uh, yung unang two na makita mo yun ang sagot pero if you think about it ang question ay how long would their trip take so dahil lang hinahanap is kung gaano kahaba yung kanila lang buong trip okay buong biyahe yan ibig sabihin kailangan ko idagdag yung 2 hours ni Christina dito sa 2 hours ni Lou sa 3 hours ni 
Grace at uh, pagsamasamahin lahat ito at yun ang magiging sagot. So, 2 plus 3 plus 2 is 7. Actual answer is 7 hours. Ito ang tamang sagot. Okay? So, ito ipa-plug mo pa siya doon para makuha yung 7 hours. Now, if you forgot that or nawaglit nyo yung malit na detail na yan, be careful and take note of that para pag kayo ang mag -e exam hindi nyo magagawa yung same mistake. The reason why I'm piling on all of these information dito sa mga quick quiz series na ito is because sa mga actual exams, civil service upcat, napalcom, kahit sa mga exams para makapasok kayo sa isang kumpanya, yung ganitong mga problem-solving questions ay ganyan din. May mga iba-ibang mga aspects yan at saka iba-ibang mga tricky parts na kung nagmamadali ka, hindi mo mapapansin. Okay? And if you're prone to do that, be extra careful pag kayo ay nag-exam. Alright? Now, I hope you got all three correctly, pero if you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Like Amaravilla for more quick questions. I post those sa aking Instagram story so you can participate and know right away kung tama o mali ang inyong sagot. I would love to hear back from you guys. And of course, it's a great way for me to know kung natututo kayo and a great way for you to gauge kung kayo ay nag improve Sana next time makita akong pangalan ninyo sa listahan ng mga tamang sagot. And again, if you want me to mention your name or your friend's name or your children's name, sa susunod na mga motion problem videos natin at iba pang mga math videos, comment nyo na lang sa baba. Uh, I-comment nyo ha para makita ko at ililista ko yan at gagamitin ko yung mga pangalan nila sa mga susunod na videos. Alright? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. And if you want to help support this channel by buying our merch, you can go to shop.teamlaika.com. That's uh, where you can find your ating exclusive merch that I designed, yung ating trying hard, never stop learning shirts, caps, and hoodies. All of those actually help me keep this channel going so thank you so much for helping me help more people and helping us put up yung ating hope fund which we use for free resources free review events sa mga incoming college students and a lot of our other advocacy so thank you so much for all of your support uh, for sharing this channel to your friends I know kahit na nasa gitna tayo ng crisis right now the channel is growing and it's all because of you guys so thank you guys and as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning aja aja kainian I'll see you in the next video and bye for now